We're going to test the battery and the charging system now. And the beauty of this test is you can do a number of different tests with one single connection. So we're going to take the black lead and hook up to the negative post of the battery. We'll take the red lead, hook up to the positive post of the battery. We'll select DC volts on the meter and we're going to go ahead and activate min max. Now you can see that the surface charge of the battery is 12.5 volts or more, which indicates that we have sufficient charge on the battery to continue the test. Now before I started this, I turned on the headlights for a few minutes. That way it bled off any surface charge when I drove the vehicle into the stall. Now what we're going to do is crank the engine. By simply pushing the min-max button one time, we can read the maximum voltage. That's the voltage once the alternator started generating some voltage to recharge the battery. You can see here we're at 13.84 volts. That's good. The alternator's doing what it's supposed to do. Now what about the minimum battery voltage? What did it drop to? Well, we can do it simply by pushing the button one more time. You can see that we dropped down to 10.28 volts. That's pretty good. If it went below 9.6 volts, I'd probably have to charge the battery again and then retest it and maybe even replace the battery if I couldn't bring it up. While I'm connected to the battery, I can test the alternator diodes. It's real easy. I can simply switch to AC volts. We'll take the red lead and instead of hooking to the battery, I'm going to go to the back of the alternator. If I hook up to the battery, the battery acts sort of like a shock absorber and will absorb a lot of that AC. Now what